Good afternoon. State employees admit to falsifying information on emergency applications for people seeking food stamps. They say to keep the state from looking bad. But that false information meant people in need were denied help. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with more. Well, Kim, these shocking revelations came out during testimony in federal court yesterday. It's the agency that's supposed to help New Mexicans who need it the most. But now... We were very shocked to hear that this is going on. The Human Services Department is in hot water. This is something we've never heard before, um, but according to workers, has been going on for quite some time. Sovereign Hager is with the New Mexico Center on Law and Poverty. She was in federal court yesterday when five state workers testified that they've been pressured to falsify that applicants for emergency food assistance had more than $100 in assets, when really they had less than that or none at all. Lawyers say those people were then wrongfully denied quick help. By modifying the case file and making it appear that the family is not entitled to emergency assistance, the state has 30 days to process the application. Workers testified they did this when they couldn't meet the seven-day deadline for those who are within emergency assistance parameters. It makes the state's numbers appear artificially high as if they are processing things according to the law when in fact they aren't. Hager says it's not the first time the Human Services Department hasn't complied with the law. These revelations come as part of a three-decade-long lawsuit on how HSD provides food assistance. That's why the Center on Law and Poverty is asking the judge for big changes. They need an outside, independent expert to come in and, um, and bring the department's processing into compliance with the law.